The following video is sponsored by EcoFlow. So you're interested in saving on your power bill and you're looking at do-it-yourself battery systems. Well, this here from EcoFlow, the Stream Ultra and Stream AC Pro is definitely worth a look. Solar power battery and a system that is very easy to set up. So the maximum solar input is 2000 watts that it can handle, which is impressive for such a small system here. It's got a capacity, one unit of 1.92 kilowatt hours, but expandable up to 11.52 kilowatt hours, which will cover most households. These units are IP68 dust and water resistant, and EcoFlow does have a way to get around the 800 watt limitation we do have with putting energy back into our house, because the AC Pro and the Ultra both have AC sockets, and that means that they can power appliances right up to 2300 watts. So that means washing machines, microwaves, hair dryers can be run with this particular system. So let's take a look at what we get here with the EcoFlow Stream Ultra and the Stream AC Pro. With both of the units, you're gonna find an AC cable. So this is outputting the power to the grid here with this particular cable. We've got our guarantee here. So it has a 10 year warranty, installation guide, safety instructions a mounting bracket and screws for both models. And if you get the Stream Ultra included as this, a set of eight 2.95 meter PV cables. So they are using the solar cables, the standard connector. They look to be really high quality cables too as well. So they do have a rubber gasket around them so no water or dust or anything's gonna get into these. And we do have IP65 protection with this whole system, so dust and water resistant. On first glance, both of the units do look identical, but there are some big differences between the Stream Ultra and the Stream AC Pro I have. And this is the big difference. So the Steam Ultra has the PV inputs there of 500 watts per panel. So you can run four panels up to 500 watts. That gives us total of 2000 watts of solar input, however, both of them do support micro inverters, 100% capacity with third party micro inverters and of course EcoFlow's own. And that means we can, with the Ultra model here, bring up the total solar input of almost 3000 watts at 2800 watts, which is impressive. No PV inputs, but that doesn't mean we can't run solar with the AC Pro either because of the bi-directional micro inverter it's got. So you can plug in your own inverter, micro inverter, to one of these two AC outlets here. So they're gonna accept that power coming in from a microinverter, 800 watts, and also send out to the grid 800 watts as well. That's why it's bi-directional. For keeping things a little bit tidier when you've got stuff plugged in, we have this magnetic cover and there's some cable management here you can see on the sides. You can also remove this part here when you have some appliances connected to those two AC plugs. And it just tidies things up a little bit. Either side, there are these two handholds there for moving around your Stream AC Pro or Stream AC Ultra. This is the power on button with status LED. It's the same for both in the same location. And an LED strip down the side that we can use to gauge the battery life without even having to log into the app. Right now I can see that I have approximately 30, 40% because it is below the halfway mark here. And highly recommended, if you're gonna be running this system, is to get this. This is the EcoFlow Shelly Smart Meter, and with it, once installed, you'll have zero feed into the grid. You'll be able to see all your production, consumption, stats there, your wattage, all that you're using, connects up with Bluetooth or wireless. I'm gonna get an electrician to install that for me. And then they have these, which are the EcoFlow Shelly Smart Plugs. So we can see the consumption as well for various different appliances we have connected up to them, set schedules, turn them on and off remotely and distribute the electricity from the system. And that is a really good thing to have. And they also look really good for smart plugs. Then there is this, which is our parallel cable. So I can connect then the Steam AC Pro into the Steam Ultra with this cable and run them in parallel, but I could also just separately install the AC Pro, or should I say plug it in somewhere else in the house. They don't have to be plugged in together, but this is an easy way to do it if you wanted to have them next to each other. 
It's a brilliant day here to be testing out this solar system here, balcony system. We just had some recent rain. It got rid of the, the dust that we did have, a bit of that that kind of blows in from Africa and everything is looking really green for this time of year. So it was really well packaged up, all of this set up. So the two battery stations and this whole solar powered balcony system here, as you can see now, I've got it temporarily set up. So you'd ideally have this, of course, all bolted into place, these panels. That way the wind won't be able to blow them over. And you won't run into any problems. Now they do have various mounting systems that you can use. What they sent out to me was the flat mount, but I don't have enough room and my studio attic is not ready at the moment. But this will give us an idea what kind of output you can expect from these panels. So these are the rigid panels from EcoFlow. 450 watts is their peak. They're high quality. They have the black frame around them and they do look excellent. So I've got all four of them connected up here. So we can take a look at what that total wattages that I can generate at the moment. So those four panels there, I try to aim them in an optimal position towards the sunshine, which is just, of course, straight up there. No shade has been cast on those panels just yet. And there I have our Stream Ultra and the Stream AC Pro. Now I've got it connected up in parallel. I could have, say, that AC Pro unit plugged into the house and then have an appliance plugged directly into that if I wanted to as a, a bit of a backup there and to use energy straight from the battery. And the Ultra is plugged into the grid with the AC plug. Now I'll go inside and show you the kind of wattage I'm generating here, the power I'm generating, and how this whole system is working and charging. The app is called simply EcoFlow. And I love this here animation we get, the flow of the energy. You can see the solar panels are generating 1.5 36 kilowatts at the moment, the way I have them positioned. 600 watts is what it's estimating the house is using. I've got two AC units on, we've got the fridge freezer unit that's on, some lighting and other bits and pieces. So it doesn't seem to be that far off. However, if you want zero feed into the grid, you need to have that smart meter that I showed before, the optional extra, and I don't have it installed. When you have that installed, it will scale that output according to your exact use, and it won't be estimates there. It'll know exactly what you're using, which is good. So you can see charging the batteries at the moment. So you have the, uh, the Stream Ultra there, charging it's at 56% and 37% the AC Pro. Now the AC Pro, uh, that's in parallel at the moment. Now I could just place this in the house somewhere and have that connected as well. You don't have to have it how I've got it set up at the moment in parallel. So I can go here, it'll give me an estimate on what the remaining time is to fully charge this because it's currently outputting to the house. It's also charging the other battery and you can see the flow here, uh, the grid connection port. So I've got almost 600 watts going out. That's the output input would be green and the arrow up and there is the current output there from the solar panels. So I can see the PV1, two, three, and four. So those four panels, they go up to 450 watts. Sun's dropping down a little bit. And the one I hang have angled the best at the sun at the moment is the fourth panel, as you can see, with the best output. So that all makes sense. You get all that information, which I find absolutely fantastic to be able to see all of that. I'll go into the AC Pro and it's telling me it's uh, charging here at 600 watts at the moment and it has two hours and 36 minutes. Now remember, you can have up to six units connected with this, that 11.52 kilowatt hours in total if you're running the six units. So you can have a lot of storage to cover you all the way through the night and it will go up to that 800 watts. And of course, as I said, if you've got the smart meter, then it's gonna be a lot more efficient too and won't just be continually estimating. It's gonna know what it needs to output. So all that information is in, is in there. You can click on the house. You can get more stats here over here that you can see the solar generation, your efficiency, independence, and other stats in there, which is all great. You've got the automation. You can set that up too as well, your own account. And we have the smart plugs that you can also see if you do happen to have those added. Now under settings, we have further options that are gonna be very useful to a lot of people. So we have our energy delivery strategy. Now it's currently semi-automated automated monitoring at the moment for me. And if I did have that smart meter I keep talking about, if that was installed, then I would set that. And that is when I would have the zero feed in and you don't 
of course, we want to have that because that's going back to the grid, back to the power company. I mean, if you are selling to them, then that's going to be fine. But if you're not, you really don't want to be doing that at all. But there is a way to control that quite well here too with this. So you can go into your base load power. Now doing so here is very good. For example, if you know at night you're only running the fridge and freezer, you don't have AC on, you only need 200, 250 watts. We can simply go ahead and add that time period at night for this so it'll lower the output into your house down to 250 watts to keep you covered without having any excess waste that's going into the grid uh, being fed in that you know you don't want to do. And your country region, well I'm in Spain here so I've got it capped at 800 watts my output into the grid. Some countries do allow 1200 watts which is quite a bit higher and that's going to cover a lot more in your house. At the moment, my base load power is just set to 600 watts. Now, is it currently in its current state covering my house? This is one thing I want to know. Because I know here that when I have a look, I'm outputting at the moment 600 watts. That should be covering my two AC units. And the only way I can measure this and monitor it myself is to go into my power wall. My power wall now is refreshing. And it's telling me I'm using absolutely no power from my house. Okay, 100 watts. That's it. But most of the time, nothing at all, which is phenomenal. That is great because I know that I'm running two AC units, running all the lights, my cameras. It's working. The EcoFlow system is covering my use there. And this is from my roof with my roof installed solar panels. It's got nothing to do with EcoFlow. It's my own install I've had way before this video. And that's sending all that into the grid that I sell to the grid. But I know there that the EcoFlow is covering all of my use there, and that is absolutely fantastic that it's doing so. Brilliant. At the 600 watts, it's enough for me at the moment. So here I have the Steam AC Pro, and this is connected up to the TV and this robot vacuum here. So it's running both of those from the two AC ports, and right now that is outputting about only 150 watts or so just from those two AC ports because I'm only running the TV here, but you can plug in anything, as I mentioned, up to the 2300 watts and it's going to run that. So that is both of the models there. So the Steam Ultra and the AC Pro. So the Stream Ultra and the Stream AC Pro, DYI, so you don't need an electrician. And they're going to save you some real money here. So solar generation with the four panels, I've seen peaks of 1.6 kilowatts, which is excellent. So it'll be feeding that energy into your house at 800 watts or the 1200 watts depending on your region if it does permit that check of course with local regulations and then any excess is going to then be of course stored into those batteries so lfp cells 6000 cycles is what they're good for and they will last for 15 years and we have a 10 year warranty on this so they're using high quality cells which is great and you can, of course, expand upon that system. So you can take it from the 1.92 kilowatt hours to 11.52 kilowatt hours, which will cover most households there. And as I pointed out, if you have some high demand appliances and you don't want them to use any of the grid energy, the energy from your power company you have to pay for, well, then you can plug in your demanding appliances to those two AC sockets there. As long as it doesn't go over 2300 watts, you are covered. So it's a great option to have. And it's just a versatile system that really anyone can set up and you're going to get those savings there. So I think so far it's fantastic. The build quality is excellent. And what I've come to expect from EcoFlow. So if you are interested in finding out more about this plug in solar system, the Stream. AC Pro and the Ultra, please do check the link in the description of this video and thank you so much for watching.